Hi guys, uh, in this episode of 90 days plan of Python to become a data analytics engineer, I'm going to give you a complete uh, detail about the memory allocation in Python. So if you see about other programming languages like C, uh, C++ or Java, we have the concept of pointers that deals with the uh, memory address, memory location of a particular variable. Whereas in Python, that task is very simple and it is more interesting than other programming languages. So normally to know the memory location of any variable, we can use the keyword called id. So as I've already mentioned in Python, everything is an object. Every object has a value, every object has an id, every object has a data type. So the value what you pass is called as an object or an object value. So let's see how this memory allocation happen in Python. Normally, let me have a variable, say s is equal to i, s is equal to i, and I need to print the value of i. So type id, this i is nothing but the object value, s is nothing but the reference variable. So the memory address of this hi will be stored in yes. That memory address will point to the value i. Actually, we have two different concepts called stack and heap in the uh, Python. Once I explain this uh, output, I will explain about the stack and heap memory. But in simple, how I can describe you is yes holds the memory address. Helps holds s holds the memory address for the value high. That is the task of that variable s. Yes. So let's see what is the memory address of s yes that it holds or the memory address where the value high is available. So it is 7 to 100. Now I have another variable double s that also going to have the same value i. What do you think? Now let's see. Uh, what will be the uh, ID of this double S? Do you have any idea? Just take some 5 seconds and think. Will you get any idea on it? Do you get any insight? Let me explain. When two variables, when two variables have same object value, Python will not allocate different memory python will allocate the same memory location thereby both of them shares the same memory address you don't believe see here 7200 7200 object value is same but reference variable is different that is how the mechanism works we have stack and heap concept so stack memory and heap memory the variable yes and the memory address as I have mentioned the memory address of yes double s will be sorry uh, the object values memory address will be stored in the reference variable who is the reference variable yes double s they are the reference variable what they hold they hold the memory address of the object value who are the object value hi is the object value has double s both has the same object value hi here I've given as a hello okay so yes and double s both of them shares the same memory address I just roughly made as 5000 instead of 5000 you think this memory address so they don't get separate memory location separate memory location means they should have different address value say 7200 7201 no since both holds the same memory address both of them are sharing the same memory location and thereby the value of hello is available here what do you mean by this hello? Hello or hi is the object value. So object value will be stored in the heap memory and the reference variable memory location, memory address will be stored in the stack memory. So this is the flow. So simply you have to remember the variable will store the memory address of the object or the object value. What is the object value? The value you pass. So this is how it happens. So for an example, uh, let's think about the another scenario. S is equal to 1, 2, 3. S is equal to 1, 2, 3. 
now i'm just going to print i'm i'm let me give any other variable name see uh number num is equal to 1 to 3 so this is the integer data type right so i'm printing the number value num i'm getting 4 5 6 okay that's pretty much fine now i'm changing the value of num to 3 4 5 let me try to print the memory address now so when the values are changed it means that they have different value they cannot point to the same memory address what happened 7088 id is getting differ let's try with list list is equal to initially i'm giving a value of 1 comma 2 let me try to print the id of this list i'm getting 128 okay now again i'm changing the value of the list 78 comma 89 i'm trying to print the id of this list value is getting changed here so both point to the same they are not pointing to the same memory address so it means that when the object value are same they can point to the same memory address and the object value are change when, the, when we change the object value the id is also changed that is one scenario thereby the stack and heap memory comes so a stack whenever we declare a variable inside a function or a method again function or method in future session i will describe how to write a function what are the uses of a function and methods so here you just remember whenever you create a function or method and whenever you assign a variable that particular memory allocation for the particular variable will be done in the stack memory and when finally the output is returned from that particular function that particular memory location will be washed out so stack stack holds the memory address reference value for the object value they store the static variable which are accessible only with the certain methods or functions within a specific boundary so the scope of the variable within the method or a function are said to be static variables they store this they store the, the their memory address will be stored in the static uh, memory methods and variables are created in the static memory a stack frame is created whenever methods and variables are created these stack frames are destroyed automatically whenever functions or methods returns so however in depth i will be explaining you all these concepts but let me give you some glimpse how this functions how this method looks so to write a function we use a keyword def I am giving a function variable name as f2 of x. What it actually does is whatever the input you give, it gives it gives the power of 2. So if I give 2, 2, 2, 2 power 2 is 4. If I give 6, 6 power uh, 2, I will give uh, 6 square, I will give 36. So that actually not power, it is actually a it is giving the multiple of 2. 6 means 12. This is how the output comes. It returns x. So once the value of x is returned automatically the uh, memory location of x will be washed out so this is how the function will be written and this is simple function will be written in this way and this function variable this function contains the variable say x y f1 all these y all these are called as variables these variables memory address will be managed by the stack what is then heap heap holds the object value the values can be accessed globally. They are responsible for aligning the data into a structural form. So this is the, these are the things you have to remember for stack and heap. Let's see what is about a garbage collection. So garbage collection is one of the most important interview questions in Python or any other programming languages you go. The definition reminds us simple. Here in Python, it actually maintains a counter value for each variable. So every variable should have some it should ask some values as i mentioned here a garbage collection python maintains a reference count for the object value when multiple instances refer to the same object value we have one value say 10 s is equal to 10 double s is equal to 10 now for this object value 10 it has two references so python will maintain the count of the reference values when the reference count is zero it is called as a dead state or a dead object thereby python clear the memory space for that particular variable this is called as a garbage collection python periodically performs this and handles the memory effectively by giving such a space to another variable the simple logic is i have 10 yes also points to 10 
Double S also points to 10. Okay. See here. For an example. S is equal to 10. Double S is also 10. So in both these scenario, the object value 10 has two references. But think about a scenario. Now S is equal to 10. Now S is equal to 11. So now I am changing the uh, value of S to 11. So whether 10 has any reference? No. Previously 10 has S to store its memory location. Now S is holding the memory location of 11. It means that there are no reference for 10. Then automatically that memory address of 10 will be washed out. It is called as a dead state. So Python effectively make use of that particular memory address. So see here. Initially here S is equal to 10. I am printing the ID of this yes and again I am assigning a value s is equal to now 11 I am changing the value okay this automatically print ID of yes So it has two different IDs. It means that this particular memory location will not be no more containing the value of 10 because 10 has no reference. So this memory location will be washed out and 10 will not be stored here. In future, some other value gets stored. So 10 is in a dead state. So this is how the garbage location actually comes into the picture. So this is a simple program. I have explained it. So guys, you have to know what is meant by a garbage collection you need to know how python stores a memory value memory uh, allocates memory for an object value when two variables points to the same memory location when two uh, variables points to the same object value they share the memory address when the object value is changed id will also be changed and similarly the previous memory id does not contain any value in that scenario, gar it is called as a garbage value because it is said to be in a dead state. Always remember, s is equal to 10, s is equal to 11. s is equal to 10 has a different ID. Now, s is equal to 11 has a different ID. Who is the current state? s is equal to 11 is the current state because it is changed from 10 to 11. So, 10 has no reference. So, 10 is in a dead state. 10 memory, 10's memory location will not contain 10 when s has a new variable 11. That memory location will be used by some other variable in future. This is about the garbage collection. Let's meet you in the next video. Bye.